Oh, this is not a spring chicken. I know, I'm keeping balls in the air, which actually is usually what happens with politics, but one of the big over, let's just say, all-encompassing. Well, it makes you feel like you got drowned out, but and that's not, well, what should we say? It's not a sad story, or actually it is a really sad story because they're drowning out all over Europe. The floods are pouring. Where in the world did this come from? Is it left over from cans? Who knows? But meanwhile, we're going to bring old Kim on with comments on the headline of today. All over for the Republicans. Well, yeah, because according to the news this morning, all the Republican governors, all the Republican congressmen, and all the Republican senators, and all Republican-ran governments in the state in the United States are all on the verge of being thrown out of office in the 212 in a 214 election because one, they're racist; two, because Obamacare is so popular that the people are all rush rushing to get it, and also because the Republicans, instead of paying attention to business, are focusing on things that no one cares about, like Benghazi. The IRS and the press, mm -hmm. and uh, and if anybody believes that, they believe that BS is really an animal. And Democrats now admit that Obamacare will greatly increase insurance costs, but its benefits outweigh the cost. Oh God, yeah, I love that. That the, well, the benefits are because Americans are very humanitarian. They know that they can help people by increasing their by they're increasing their insurance costs by maybe 167 percent per family that they, they can basically help those people that don't have insurance. And basically, uh, and, 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 the, the, and last night, yesterday, with the, on all the channels, you know, but didn't you say it was going to cost less and it's going to, uh, it's go people are going to like what they're getting so much that they're going to want to help people. They said, didn't you say that it was going to cost, the people in the United States are going to be, they're humanitarians, they're going to like what, he said, no one likes what they're getting. And one guy, when they did it again, he said, I'm really getting, you know, he did an end of a show yesterday for the President of the United States. He said, if you keep sending people here with talking points and they stick to it, they're not coming back and they've got something else to say. He said, this came from the dreaded Fox News. Mr. President, if it sounds stupid when you're saying it, it's stupid. Mm -hmm. I mean, like, and then they got hit this morning even worse. 67% of, and, and a Democratic polls now said 67% of those people that the raise and, and that you're going to get your premium raised so that they can have health care aren't going to take health care because as one guy said, I wasn't paying for health care before and now I got to have now I'm going to have to pay four or five thousand dollars a year with subsidies for health care for my family. He said if I had money I could get it less from an insurance company that I can get it from the president so I'm not going to buy it. And he said sue me. And Democrats since Bush did it is all right for Obama to use IRS against people? Yeah, I love that. They said Carl Rose went ballistic about it when, when they pointed out the fact that George Bush was using the IRS. Well, let's see, we'll put it simply this way. When George Bush found out that people in the IRS were going after his enemies, George Bush fired him and ordered him to testify before Congress without the Fifth Amendment. Mm -hmm. That's different, isn't it? Mm -hmm. They got fired, they were ordered to testify. Uh, it's not how Obama is doing it. Obama's not only not firing him, he's he's basically giving people paid vacations that to keep them shut up. Ooh. And Obama expected to overrule the Constitution and sign an arms treaty that removes the right to bear arms and turn the control of weapons over to the UN. Oh yeah, they, he has been told sixty over sixty percent of the Democrats in the Senate have told him he has no authority to do what he's doing. The right to make treaties is, is a, the right to, to do the treaty approval is the object of the Senate of the United States. The Constitution gives that to the uh, to the Senate. It does not give the president the power to make to sign agreements. He's already signed it once, and they told him no. But today, because he can't get uh, he cannot get weapons control in that he wants, he's going to sign the agreement that basically the. These people that basically assigned it, they're not the Russians, they're not the Chinese, they're not the British, they're not the French, they're not the Spanish. They're third world company, countries. And they actually believe it. If the President of the United States signs it, like in their country, they think it's good. They don't <laughs> understand that when he signs it, he then becomes in violation of the Constitution. And they'll, I mean, they're waiting. They're waiting with, they said, um, one of the people, one of the senators from Arkansas who basically backed off gun control and who, who was, was targeted by the Democrats for removal, said, we're waiting with great anticipation for him to, uh, to write his own impeachment papers this mm -hmm. afternoon because 
Uh, you do not turn control of anything in our country over to another country, and that's what he's doing. Yeah, and Iran set up terrorist networks in Latin America, Argentine prosecutor. Yeah, uh, <laughs> and Obama could have stopped it. Uh, oh, here's another thing, Obama, here's what we were ordered today by OPEC to stop doing uh, shell drilling because if we don't, they're going to teach the United States a lesson and basically uh, st uh, stop the flow of oil to our country. And you know, they said there was no truth to the rumor that the President of the United States was dancing on the top of his table this morning. Now we're going to have to go green mm -hmm. because of my great efforts. We, I stopped Shell, we now are not going to have any oil, and we're going to have to go green. Well, they said there's no truth that he was doing it, but they did hear a lot of historical laughter when he heard the OPEC. I bet they did. Yeah. Um, <laughs> struggling Korean builders tell employees to show loyalty and buy apartments. Who <laughs> have money? Okay. I love that one. Okay. Panasonic is going. Uh, Panasonic is laying off five thousand people, um, and the Ka Korea, South Korea is having a problem because people, if okay, they depend upon the sale of electronics and automobiles. If people aren't buying worldwide, they can't run their businesses, which means they can't afford to hire people, which means. They're going down the tanks, folks. Mm -hmm. Oh, well, Panasonic to cut 5,000 workers from automotive and industrial division. Yeah, because the people aren't buying that. It's just, the Obama, okay, I, I just got through watching a thing on the, on, the, on the business news when they were announcing how pending housing sales are the highest they've been since Bill Clinton was president. You see, uh, the last quarter, Home Depot tanked. Lowell's tanked, all the home improvement places tanked. The places that supply construction material are down. There is no orders for it. Their inventory is down because no one's ordering. And home uh, and pending loans for here. Here's the tip if pending sales of homes are the highest they've been in decades, how in the world can pending loan applications be the lowest that they have been in three years? Mm -hmm. It's an impossibility. He told you, he told, the guy said, we're pulling all of our money out of homes in this country because the market is dead. And behind China's U.S. pork deal, there's overfeed additives. Yeah, because, um, okay, um, they, it, it's not going to, no matter how much Obama wants to do it, it is not going to get through the left in the, in the Senate. They just simply are not going to approve it. The people in the town said, um, I love it, one of the guys said that, I, I uh, you know, I, I'm just going to take, I'm going to stop, I don't know where you're going to get the meat because we're just going to take our meat and we're going to go elsewhere with it. There was somebody that basically paid attention to the rules. The Chinese do not pay attention to the rules, folks. Mm -hmm. They don't have, they don't have the checks and balances. I mean, I think somebody said four billion dollars worth of food products was was uh, thrown away from China last year because it didn't meet specifications in our country. Oh my God! And uh, that more or less one of the people from Smith, the, the, the city where this stuff is from, said they're buying us to shut it down. That's the reason why, because they said the president doesn't think it's healthy because the president doesn't think it helps the, and you know, they're going to sell it for four billion dollars to the Chinese government, the Chinese government is then going to face it. Well, we've invested it, we're not going to get our money back, so we're going to shut it down. Mm -hmm. Which puts all of those people in that city out of work. And, and, and then Obama's supposedly not responsible for it. That's right. Right? The Chinese government did it to you. Yep. And Rhode Island Governor Shafi, an independent who was a Republican, plans to become a Democrat. I know. The guy, he was, uh, okay, and in, uh, here's the way it works, it is uh, a liberal Republican is always a moderate Democrat. That's the way it works, and Shafi was a liberal. He couldn't win re-election as, as a senator because he was a liberal, liberal Republican and they don't like liberal Republicans. So he became an, a liberal, which basically meant he could do it, but then they weren't going to re-elect him again because they didn't like his policies. I mean, this guy banned Christmas in the state of Rhode Island, oh, folks. God. He basically, you had, it was a, he, he had holiday celebrations and holiday trees, but no Christmas. So that didn't go over well in a place that basically has Christmas celebrated year round. And White House won't confirm reported, reported drone strike against Wally or Raymond. Yeah, uh, because they basically killed a couple of more American citizens, yeah. which he said we're not targeting American citizens. Well, that makes another he targeted, plus accidentally getting two, two women at the same time. And Motorola hits comeback trail with a new U.S. made film. Um, or phone. M Motorola is basically dead. Uh, you know, it was bought, I think, by uh, Google in order to bury it. 
And a Monty bubble is from the Mark Twain of the animal kingdom. Okay, you can only tell lies to the public so often and the public finally catches on.